Let's go ahead and make this graph using Microsoft Excel. It's similar in Google Sheets uh, and Apple Numbers, I believe. Uh, but uh, I'm going to use uh, Excel since I think most people have it. I have preparation of a scatter plot with a regression line handout. And it says enter the volume values X on the first column of the worksheet. I've got those right here. Don't include the units. Well, uh, not in each of the numbered cells. I have them in my title. Um, and enter the mass values Y on the second column. Don't include the unit. Don't leave blank rows and columns. Enter your data in columns. Good news, I've got it all here. So I'm just reading along from the handout. Select the chart data. Click and hold down over the corner cell of your spreadsheet data, excluding the titles. I'm clicking and holding. Uh, drag the mouse pointer over the data to select it. I just did. Under the insert menu, choose scatter plot. So insert. Scatter plot is going to be the points right here. And then you're going to choose just points. And after some thinking, hopefully up will pot, pop a plot. Ooh, what happened here? Did I enter my data wrong? I did. All right. I mixed them up. So on my data, so these two. are actually my Y data, so I'm going to cut these and put them over here. And I'm using uh, Command X on my Mac, but it can be Control X and Control V for paste. You could also just retype them. I'm not sure which is faster. Ah, there we go. There's my data. And it looks pretty similar, except this one goes all the way to zero over here. We'll fix that in a little bit. Um, it's got a chart title. Let's see, click on the chart design menu, still following along. Then click on add chart element. So I'm gonna click on my chart. I'm going to go to chart design. I'm gonna add chart element, and I'm gonna add an axis title. And I'm gonna start with my primary horizontal and I'm double clicking and holding over the whole title. Um, my axis title, it's, we're making the same graph, so I'm basically making this graph again. On my X axis, I had volume in milliliters. One more, there we go. And for my Y axis, my vertical axis. I'm clicking and dragging to select it all so that I can erase it or type over it. That's going to be total mass. That's going to be careful there. Yes, yeah, she goes. I cannot get an M. There we go. My computer's acting a little strange, but we'll get it there eventually. Good. Total mass in grams. And uh, oh, I'm going to add a trend line next. I think, there we go. And when I go to add trend line, I'm actually just gonna go straight to more trend line options. Well, actually it says go to linear. That should appear and then double click on your line. And it will bring up a menu for formatting your trend line. Go all the way down to the bottom and choose display equation on chart. There's my equation, click out of that. And double click on the letters in the chart title. You should now be able to edit the title, give your chart a good title.
And my title is Total Mass versus Volume for $5 Jamaican Coins. Having some trouble here, but hopefully you will have less trouble. Let's try this again. Total mass versus volume. Four. Five. Oop. Five dollar. Jamaican coins. Good. Now, um, then if you did this and you recognize that the slope Wow, why did my slope come out so poorly on the other one? 4, 22, 23. Huh. Something's up there. I'm going to have to go back and look at this because the slopes should be the same. 21, 22, 23. Oh, because <laughs> I did my math wrong. It should be 2.5. Anyway. Uh, the, your slopes should be the same, and if they're not, then go back and check your math just like I did on the other one. Um, so I get a slope of 7.24. I think it should only have two sig figs, so we'll go with 7.2. And that, but I'm not done here. I don't like all this space down here. So if you add, all of this is double clickable, I'm going to double click on the x axis. And I'm going to go to my options here, and my zero should be 15, at least. And I enter 15, and then that means that my graph at least takes up some of the space. Maybe I should have done 19, but I think that's good enough. The one other thing I want to do is I don't like grid lines. So I'm going to go to Add Chart Element. I'm going to go to Grid Lines. I'm going to take them away. And the other thing I like is I like if I have a box all the way around my chart. So I'm going to go to Format. And I bet if I click on this and make it black, there should now be a black line all the way around it. And for me, I think it's easier when I print it. If everything, let's see, did that just make that black? Yep. Oh, it's going to minus five here. I don't like that at all. Well, let's make this black as well. And uh, now I'm going to go over to my Y axis and see how my minimum is minus five. I'm going to make that zero. There we go. And let's see what our beautiful graph looks like now. Ah, a thing of beauty. That's something that you can turn in uh, for your lab.